Hey guys, it's Sinker Wolf here, and today I've got a how to video. Uh, now I haven't made one of these for ages, but I'm going to see how this goes. So, okay, let's go on with this. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get the Windows 10 menu on your Windows 8 8.1 computer or laptop. Um, you, it also gives you other windows as well, such as um, Windows 7, and it also gives you this company's version of, or what they feel like, a Windows 8 window uh, start menu would look like if Windows 8 would have had one. So it's quite simple. You all have to just download one program, then a few extra files to get the Windows 8 side of it. But obviously, if you're not interested in the Windows 8, this still shows you how to get a task menu back if you don't know how to get one. And it's all a pretty easy and simple thing to do. All you have to do is, all links will be in the description, by the way. You head over to this website here, lead-soft.com slash vi start. And what you do is you scroll down, and there's this big black box right here. And you click download and download it. I've already done it, so I'm not going to bother. But the download file is very small, so it'll only take a few seconds. Uh, well, it did for me. Now, once you've downloaded that, you want to go to where the program is, where you download it to. Like here, I've got it on my desktop, Windows Start Menu Vista.exe. All you have to do is run this program, and it will install it. If I quickly click, I'm going to click window, it will tell you to pick a menu. It will give you the Windows 7 start menu, Windows 8 blue start menu replacement, and Windows 8 start menu replacement, and it's XE Black 2.0. These ones here, I'll show you how to add them after we've, obviously once you've installed this, I'll show you just in a minute in the video. So I'm going to click the Windows start button, and you get this little screen, and here we go. My bar's at the top, if you're wondering. But here it's added the button, animation when you hover your mouse over it, you click it and it's got the Windows 7 styled taskbar. Uh, it has documents, it has access, um, and has all the kind of functions, all programs. And obviously if you right click, you can go options and you can edit it by changing the style, changing the orb if you don't want the orb to be the same as the uh, themed one. Uh, you can pick Apple, Firefox, Thumbs, Ubuntu, Orb, uh, however you want to pronounce it, or the Windows flag. And also you can do some configuring as well, which um, is just changing some of the icons and displays. So, once you've downloaded and installed this program, you want to head over to the second website. Um, if you want the Windows 10 themes, if that's kind of, if all you want to do is get was the start menu, then that's basically the uh, the main part of it obviously you can get the windows 8 replacement and it will change it click on it this is their windows 8 version of what they feel it should should have been or their replacement of it they've also got this one as well which is also another version which is kind of almost similar and then they got the xe black which is quite a weird one but i quite like it but i'm going to change back to the windows 7 one just for the time being so yeah they're the uh, default options. So I'm going to show you how to add Windows 10 menus. Uh, they're not fully functional ones, I will admit to that, but they are good for kind of visual purposes to try and get used to Windows 10 when it is released. Um, but really, the Windows 10 one's more of a gimmick of a uh, just kind of mess about and have a look of. But it's not really very functional, as you'll see when I show you in the video. But what you want to do is head over to this uh, second link, which is a Divine Arts link. And here it's got a picture of what it looks like with different themes. And then you click this download.rar file up here and just download that and then save it to wherever you want to. You download folder, your desktop, wherever. You are going to need a program to extract it. Uh, WinRAR, 7-zip, um, I think uh, and Windows also has a built-in extraction feature as well. So just right click and go extract here or extract to Windows 10 uh, start menu. Um, so you've got a folder like this. Once you've got this folder, you want to open it up and you'll see, obviously I've extracted it, and you'll, there'll be a folder called Windows 10 Start Menu. Open it up again and then you'll see four folders and an English XML file. What you want to do is highlight these four folders, right click and copy them, or Control C, depending on what you want to do it, and copy these four folders. After, you want to press the Windows button and the R button to open up your run command box. And then type in percent app data like I already have typed in there. 
and then what you want to do is hit OK or enter. Once you're in your roaming file, your percent app data roaming file, you want to look for a folder in here called VI Start, which is the program you just downloaded and installed. You want to then open this up like so and then you'll see a folder called skins in this folder you want to open it up and then you want to paste in them four folders you just copied as you can see here I've got the Windows 10 start menu Ferrari green brown and blue once you've done once you've pasted them all into there you want to go back one step into the previous folder you was just in and go to the folder called languages in here there'll be a folder uh, sorry an XML file called English what you want to do is you want to rename that English folder, the original one inside it, to, I don't know, something like backup English like I've got above. Once you've renamed that, you want to go back to that folder you just downloaded from, and got from the WinRAR. I think here it is. You want to then copy the English.xml file and then open up the Languages folder and paste it into the Languages folder. Um, but what you don't want to do is you don't want to overwrite the English XML file. You must rename the original one in the languages folder as a backup like I have here. That's the original one I downloaded with the software. This English one is the one I downloaded through the Windows 10 start menu. Um, it's, you need to back it up because if anything goes wrong, you can easily delete the, X, the English XML file, rename the backup English XML file back to just plain English .xml and then obviously then it will get rid of the uh, Windows 10 and obviously fix any kind of bugs or issues you're having with the software. So once you've renamed the file and put in that new English one, you can then have to close the close the program down, the uh, start menu program. Um, I, I haven't seen a close button actually within the actual program itself, which is kind of annoying. It probably is, I just haven't noticed it. But obviously, I just go to Task Manager, I look for vistart.exe, and then end it. It's for 32 bits, but also runs on 64 bits, because mine's a 64 bit laptop. So once you've done that, you want to run it again, and then you'll obviously then see the options for Windows 10 within the program. I'm going to select the Windows 10 start menu blue since my computer has got a blue theme on it. If your computer's got a pink theme or a purple theme, you know, you're, you're kind of out of luck because the feet, these window meant start menus are only, they're pre-made. They, they don't alter when you change the colors of your system. So the Ferrari's a red color, green's green obviously, and brown's brown. If you don't have a color if you have a color outside of these four options, then I'm sorry, but you're out of luck. But I'm going to pick the Windows 10 start menu. And now, as you can see, I don't know why that's red. Oh, no, I've picked the wrong one, haven't I? Have, did I pick the right one? Yeah, I clicked Fry. Whoops, wrong one. Okay, so now if I click on it, you can see it says Administrator. You've got the power button here. And also then you've got all your programs, all apps, like so. And obviously down the right you can see these tiles or your apps. Um, but obviously with this it's only like kind of a gimmick. There's um, if you've seen some of the videos about Windows 10, there's no button here to actually maximize it because on Windows 10 there's a little button you press it and then it brings all these uh, app tiles across the whole screen. But obviously since this is kind of only like a gimmick of a program, it it doesn't have that feature. Uh, you can also see that there's text within the tiles and things like that and that is because with this these tiles don't really function properly um, all they kind of are is just a, a image over the top of folders um, like PC settings you have to click on the uh, like I'll click I'm clicking around this PC settings area and nothing happens until I randomly somehow got videos up somehow so yeah, that, that's that's it really. It's more of a gimmick, this Windows 10 one. But it's a cool little thing to have if you just want to show off to your mates and go, oh, look at this. But you can download Windows 10 for the Insider Pro... Insider, is it called the Insider Program? I think so. Um, but obviously, I wouldn't recommend installing it. Get a virtual reality, uh, reality, virtual box or software similar to install it. I wouldn't overwrite your main operating system. Otherwise, you'll be in a bit of issues a bit of a problem when uh, something goes horribly wrong and you have to reboot your whole system for whatever reason. Um, I am trying to get Windows 10 
uh, well, I've got access to it, just I can't get any uh, like VirtualBox, any kind of uh, virtual machine software to work on my laptop for some reason. It keeps um, not giving me a 64-bit option. I've tried absolutely every single thing to fix it. But anyway, guys, I hope this video has helped you guys. Um, I know it's not very the Windows 10 menu for this software is pretty crap, but it's good to have the start menu back. I, I quite like it for the uh, Windows 7 start menu um, more than anything because then uh, you just have access to everything here. It's a lot more easier, a lot more nicer and it's quick to access things. But anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe and peace.